So here's something I have not done in quite some time. Um, it's a rant. <laughs> it's a little bit of a rant. I, um, I don't even know where to begin. Okay. Christmas Eve, I get a phone call from my friend, my BFF, and she tells me about a job opportunity to be a photo retoucher. And I'm like, I'm kind of like stoked about it, you know, because I, you know, I want to be in the field. If anyone has followed my videos, they, they hear me sometimes talk about how I want to be a photographer and how I want to work in the field at the very least, you know, for starters, mm, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, this is like pretty, this is a pretty good, you know, thing. It's cool. You know, they, all they want you to do is bring in your laptop and samples of your work and your resume and, you know, and like, I guess we're going to be getting interviewed. So the interviews were going to be taking place. The Christmas Eve was what? Friday. It was on a Friday and then Christmas on a Saturday and then the day after Christmas, it was Sunday. And so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday after Christmas was going to be the days of like open house from two to six. Okay. Um, sounds great. So the day after Christmas, I don't know who, you know, actually holds the interview on a Sunday. Um, the day after Christmas, no less. Um, but that's what they were doing. And it started snowing. It was pretty bad. I didn't even realize I didn't look out my window. My husband called me and he told me that it was pretty nasty outside. So I had this plan of wearing this pencil skirt. I mean, the night before I was like, all over the freaking place, like trying to get my resume together properly, trying to get, you know, my samples of my work and so on and so forth. I mean, I was going in, I was making sure that I was going to try and get this damn position, you know, everything I could possibly think of to do, I was doing it. And it's like, it's funny because like my friend, my BFF, she's a photographer too, and we're in the same field and, you know, wanting the same things. And it's like, I mean, I appreciate her thinking of me and allowing me to come with her on this interview, knowing that she's also gunning for the same position. Um, it can get a little complicated sometimes when you're friends with someone and you guys are interested in the same things and you guys are kind of like fighting for the same shit. But, uh, thankfully and I hope she appreciates the fact that um I personally don't give a damn like you know we're friends so there's no real competition here I mean yeah I'm gunning for it and I'm gonna go as hard as I possibly can to get whatever position over anybody it doesn't matter who it is it could be my mother my grandmother I don't, I don't give a damn I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you know um but I'm not the type of person who's gonna hate and like if say for instance she got the position over me I'm not gonna be like you know and get a little stupid about it but anyway you know we, you know, I meet up with her. We decide we're not going to go in at two when it starts because we don't want to be forgotten by the time everybody else comes, if anybody else comes. And the weather was really, really horrible the day after Christmas. Like, it was really freaking bad. <laughs> really freaking bad. I mean, the storm was a brewing. And I was just like, we got to do this. And she was like, yeah, we got to do this, you know. And I go to her house. She's not ready. She doesn't know what the hell she's wearing. I mean, it's already omens all over the place. And I'm very, like, big on omens. Like, if something, I, I'm very sensitive to signs. And if I see something just, like, you know, kind of shaky like it's being a little bit more difficult than uh it should be or whatever it is like that that i'm already in my mind i'm just like ah, this is probably not meant to be we shall see i'll push as far as i can but for the most part I'm, I'm not you know putting all my eggs in one basket because i can already see things are about to go awry so anyway i was already thinking that in my head i'm like oh god this is like this is crazy i don't know when the hell we're gonna get down there you know i don't know what the trains are gonna be like whatever i get to her house she's going crazy obviously she doesn't know what the hell to wear we figure it out we finally dude we have our laptops we have samples of our work she went through her portfolio which looks really good might i add um, and she's like exchanging pictures. I mean, we both had our share of panic. We both had our share of like stress and running around and preparation and all of this stuff. So we finally get down. Excuse me. I was not wearing the right shoes for the weather. <laughs> um, I was wearing these boots that had no grip whatsoever. And my nose is loud. God. And, um, so I was like, bitch, I'm not fucking walking. I'm not going to the train. I'm not dealing with this shit. Like, absolutely not looking for, you know, looking for this place for the interview, slipping and sliding all over the goddamn city. Like I'm not doing it. So we're taking a cab. Why did we do that? Why? It took fucking like 12,000 years. The guy was driving so super, super slow. And normally I'd be like better safe than sorry. But it was like, I just wanted to get there already. Like the anticipation, everything. And we didn't know if there was going to be a line of people because this was like a Craigslist posting. You know what I mean? Anyway, so we get there and it happens to be like a clothing store. And it's basically they just wanted us to photo retouch or something. I guess they're like designs or what have you. Um, like pictures that a photographer took, blah, blah, blah. And we're both highly capable and qualified to do such things. I mean, we've been in photography for friggin' ever. And, you know, our resumes look pretty decent. I mean, it's not like, oh, you know, that we've had all this experience. But at the same time, it's like, we obviously have the capability to do it. And, you know, their whole thing was that they were going to test us, I guess, and send us images or what the fuck ever. So, um, we get there and we look good. Okay, we look good. I'm sorry, we do. We had, you know, our nice professional jackets and, you know, we were all very sleek and we were stylish and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and I was actually going to do, like, an outfit of the day interview um, video, but, you know, I just was, like, so stressed and, like, trying to focus on the interview that I didn't even, like, bother. But, um, it looks good. I had on, like, this, uh, God. I had on this mustard sweater and dark, dark jeans that were almost black and my boots and this like, uh, you know, A-lined pea coat and scarf and my hair was done and it was just like all kinds of things were going. Um, so anyway, I hand over my resume, you know, my friend hands over her resume. She's looking at her resume. She's more so looking at mine than my friends. It's kind of awkward. I told my friend that I am not want to have an interview, you know, together. And she agreed. Like it, that would have been like the wackest thing ever, but it just, just so happens that that's exactly what they had in store. That's what they planned. <sighs> so we were sitting on this little couch in the store in front of everybody and... 
she was just it was just me and her me and my friend and she seemed so surprised to see that anyone would have came in that weather i mean it was really bad it was really bad there was like zero visibility snow and wind and white and everything and slipping and sliding and <laughs> You know, I figured, okay, brownie points, yay, we got brownie points, we're the only people here, we're the only ones who trudged in the snow, you know, this is like dedication, this is determination, and this should be brownie points, right? No, wrong, okay? So anyway, <laughs> um, she reads our resumes, everything's like really great and dandy, and, you know, I mean, I mean, there's nothing on my resume, or there's nothing that from the, the two-second interview that we got that indicated that we weren't really necessarily capable, but what's supposed to be the deciding factor was a test that she was supposed to give us, but she did not give us in the store, which we thought was going to happen. And uh, why, why the hell did we bring our laptops? Why did, we, why did we bring them? They didn't get used. They didn't get used. Why did we bring samples of our work? They didn't even get seen. The only thing that got seen was our resume, and she looked at that for like two fucking seconds, and then she like, <laughs> she like asked us a couple questions, and then she was like, oh yeah, we're going to email you. No, okay, this is, this is what I don't understand. You tell people don't call us, we'll call you, or we'll get in touch with you if, if, you know, whatever it is like that. You know automatically, off the bat, you're just like, you're not gonna fucking call me, because if you wanted me, you'd have me, or whatever it is like that. 